What's up guys, welcome back to another video with me, Superstar7, and today my friends, we are back with another Scare Ritual video. So less than 24 hours ago, I spoke about the controversial honest opinion for Scare Ritual, and I just want to make something clear with Wales Interactive. Yesterday's video was not meant to bring any harm to the game, that's just one thing I wanted to make very clear in this video, because I felt like maybe I could have came off a little bit harsh on that video, because it was definitely quite deep, and it was a very hard subject to come across on. But the only reason why I made that video was to bring awareness to some of the issues that were more game breaking and not necessarily to make the game look bad in some of the segments where i was maybe coming across quite sarcastic that was just to add this value to the video and also because i do respect you guys as developers obviously i don't want the game to look bad because i really like the game you know i've been covering it here on my channel i wouldn't want it to just die like i said that maybe black ops 6 was going to make it so it was a little harder for scare ritual to grow but for me personally having scare ritual and black ops existing in the same universe at the same time and and, well not necessarily the same universe because they are two different games but I mean like in our universe and being able to simultaneously release content as a content creator that's a really good thing but all I wanted to bring in that video was awareness to some of the issues that I felt were not being addressed however Wales Interactive have responded in that video so if you've read the title of this video they have responded and this is what they responded with so first of all I want to say that I've got something wrong as well after a conversation that I had had with a moderator I I was under the impression that it was quite easy for them to add game chat because I was told that it was inside of the game and that they'd had conversations with the developers and that it basically existed within the game but it just simply wasn't enabled yet and that's why we didn't have game chat but that's my misconception and according to this reply that isn't a thing inside of the game that can just be enabled so I will do better and I will make sure that in future I get my information from a credible source I'll probably go to the developers if I can rather than getting it from a moderator or somebody else who probably doesn't have an area in programming now believe it or not I actually do have some experience with game scripts and scripts in general no I'm not able to code and do what spaz can do or what any of the developers have done with this game and maybe some people feel like this is quite an indie game but I couldn't do this so this to me is like a triple-a game when I say I have some experience with scripting I do not mean that I can just build a game I can't stress enough just how much that this game has improved over the time that it's been a thing although I said yesterday that it comes with some new bugs and stuff that's it just kind of happens but the ones that I felt like were just game breaking is what I addressed yesterday like not being able to shoot because you have no weapons and the desyncing that was an issue for me personally on top of that also I have like friends who are epileptic and also I just noticed that some of the menus maybe were a little bit too flashy and I just wanted to give some creative criticism there and hopefully Wales Interactive hopefully if you do reply to this video then hopefully you will consider to turn the lights off inside of that menu or just at least dim them down a little bit and or maybe slow down the strobe light and that also helps talking of which I think we should also address what they've said here we did hotfix this recent update on the same day the music objective is not featuring in the patch was an honest mistake our solo programmer caught this and other issues immediately and continued to work throughout the evening to fix and patch issues the same night whilst being active in the discord updating the community on progress we are sorry to hear you have back-to-back -back games where you couldn't use a weapon unless this is caused by a specific bug that hasn't been reported it is not common for this to happen and in fairness to them that is true they have squashed quite a few bugs it was just that there are some things that when I was in the discord because I'm not actually in the discord anymore during the time that I was in there I felt like I saw a lot of reports that weren't being noticed but to be honest with you there's a chance that spaz could have been addressing these and no one noticed so again a misconception that I have had Wales Interactive went on to ask if this happened happened during the patch or the same day I will just say this in the video now because this is my response to you I've had this happen multiple times before this update but it seemed like it happened a little bit more but after a little bit more playing and a bit more interacting with the game and actually having some fun it wasn't happening as much one other thing Wales interactive I don't know if you are meant to have it like this but when I'm in a public lobby it's not that I have an issue with this but I don't know if this is a feature or a bug and I just wanted to let you guys know but I've noticed that if you're in a lobby with other players one of the things is for you making progress on a certain gun, for example. So say I didn't use the blunderbuss at all in that game, but another player had a blunderbuss. If they were getting kills with it, when I come out of the game, somehow the XP that they've got on their blunderbuss has now come onto mine. I don't know if it's meant to be a feature or a bug, but I just thought I would let you guys know. Again, there was no clear indication for me personally on Steam and stuff. There was no clear indicator that this had happened, not that I could find, which is why after reading Spaz's comment where it was like it'll probably be tomorrow, I 
had assumed that that was what the plan was, which would make sense considering it did say that it would probably be patched tomorrow. However, when I was playing last night, I was playing till like six in the morning, believe it or not. I'm actually up very late today, but I was playing till six in the morning and I literally played for about six hours and I was trying to look for the secret music Easter egg hidden on Deadly Lovers Fortress with Emma and we found out that there's a corpse that you can shoot and then we had a trigger where I think we used Abraham and he did some sort of thing and I'm not sure if this is right but Abraham seemed to have activated something inside of the lab in there and if it wasn't that we didn't really work out what that was because we went back in to try and find out but there was an orb in the lab which then we couldn't seem to re-trigger um, and I think it was a pure accident that we got it the first time around which is why I'm saying it could have been Abraham and then also we had to shoot this corpse which then made three different torches or four different torches turn red and then we had to get these ice zombies to use their ice attacks on them and then they went blue now we did all four of those we got the orb in the lab and then we just didn't know where to go from there we were on like round 36 or something we were quite high on the rounds and then we were like oh we'll go back in in like beginner and have a little quick look before we go to bed we did the whole hardcore easter egg and everything and we had no idea but anyways i just wanted to let you guys know this was not to slam skirt ritual i don't think wales interactive are probably thinking oh he was trying to slam us but i would never want them to feel that way and i definitely wouldn't want to make it so that the people who have easily targeted skirt ritual to then start like using my video where i'm saying this is my honest opinion of how i feel at this at the moment in time and this is my creative input that they're then going to say oh if this guy who's made loads of content on skirt ritual is saying that this is a problem and that's a problem then the game's trash because it's not trash the game's not trash i like the game that's why i literally stayed up last night playing till six in the morning because i was enjoying my camo grind but one thing i definitely want to say two things i would like you to consider please please consider is turning off the lights or the strobe lighting or slowing the strobe lighting down in the weapon menu so we can just see those glorious camos without being blinded and also if it's not meant to be a feature please fix it if it is a bug the players that you're playing with being able to contribute to each other's weapon xp because i definitely would prefer personally to be able to unlock my own weapons camos away from other people's progress if that makes sense or at least if that's a feature make it a toggleable feature so that you can choose to either have it personal or you shared but anyways guys i just wanted to correct the narrative on this one so you guys didn't think i had a problem with skirt ritual and hopefully wells interactive will leave a comment down below to let us know that everything is all okay but anyways guys i'm sure you'll be absolutely awesome and i shall see you guys in my next video